Hello and welcome to the homework video for Tuesday, Monday the 14th. This is for sixth grade, uh, covering our lesson on uh, working with finding the area of composite figures. So um, this one had a little bit more time uh, involvement with it to solve the problem. So I went ahead and written those in. So that will make for a shorter video, but um, I will try to explain my thought process as we go. So number two, we are working with this shape. We can get the area for the inside part by doing nine times 12, which is 108. This one we're going to be doing nine or one half times nine times six. So half of the base times the height. Um, I went ahead and did the one half with this one to change that to a three. That gives us 27 here. Um, again, I have nine um, times 10 times one half. So I did the uh, one half here to get 4.5 times 10, which is 45. Add all those three numbers together. And what I came up with was 180 for that. Number four, um, my area for the first one would be uh, 200 for our um, parallelogram. And then that would give us 200 minus whatever we come up with for this. And we actually have the same triangle um, that we had on uh, this portion here. So we had a 10 by nine. Um, the only difference being um, that uh, in the other one, nine was the height um, instead, or sorry, no, actually it's just exactly the same. Um, so nine would be the base and 10 would be the height. Um, so do 200 minus 45, that gives us 100, 155 inches square. Uh, number six, so describe two or more situations you need to subtract to find the area of a composite figure. Well, guess what? In number four and five, we did exactly those things. So uh, if we wanted to cut out part of a shape and figure out how much is left, or if we need to put down grass, this would be the part for our pool. Um, but we didn't solve this problem. Uh, that would help us inform how much of the area that we need to fill with grass. So um, just little examples like that um, are kind of things that we might do in real life, uh, even if we don't end up actually following through with that. So number one on the back, what is the area of the composite figure? So I started by doing the rectangle, but to do the rectangle, I have to add up seven plus nine that gives us 16, and then do 34 minus 16 to get this length. And that is going to be 18. And then I can go ahead and do 18 times seven to get 126. And then I'm working with the same kind of things that I've done before. So um, seven by seven, um, one half of seven is gonna be 3.5. So seven times 3.5 is gonna give us 24.5 uh, for that portion. I think it's somewhere, no, maybe I didn't write that part down. I wrote down some of the other stuff. Um, this side, we are going to have a um, trapezoid that is going to be 10 and seven for the bases. So we're gonna have 17 times one half times our height, which would be nine going this way. And then that's going to give us 8.5 times 9, which is going to give us uh, 76.5. And then for uh, the final part, we just need to add all three of those together. And so I ended up with 227 meters squared for that. And our last problem, I'm going to try to scoot this all the way over and I might even zoom out a little bit so that we can kind of get this further up the screen. I know that my face shows up down here sometimes and that blocks everything. So to find the area of the shaded region, we're gonna start by finding the total area. So we're gonna have um, 32 times 25 times one half to get the entire area of the triangle. That's gonna give us an area of 400. Then we are gonna find the area of the trapezoid that, we're, that we are removing from the shaded area. And so our first two bases are gonna be 15 plus 12. That's gonna give us a total of 27. One half times 27 times 11. 
I decided to take uh, this part and reduce it down to 13.5, which is half of 27. That way I can do this part a little bit more easily, and that gives us an area of 148.5 inches squared. So those were the problems for today. Hope that makes sense for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to go, uh, post in Google Classroom. Um, your guys' uh, class will be doing a new lesson tomorrow, and then the office hours for you guys will be on Wednesday. So if you have any um, questions or want to stop in on Wednesday morning from 9 to 11 um, to ask questions, that will be perfectly fine. So hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.